Hey there guys, sorry for that uh, cut. Again, and again. This is just not going very well at all. But I am just gonna switch out here because I don't want this to take another year. Even though I said I wouldn't switch back into him. But, you know, it doesn't matter. But yeah, because we are out right now, well, after this fight. I guess we could just quickly take on Misty and then end the episode and then I can start putting these up. Yeah. This is going way better. Because I left my this game on for like over an hour. Like the run time is gonna be like well not the run time of the video, but it's like the twelve hours of gameplay after this point is gonna be like an hour. Do you wanna take the helix? Of course, Lord Helix all the way. Even though we're not using him, I'll revive him, <laughs> but we won't use him. Yeah. Alright, then it's fast as mine. That's my blue voice. I don't know why I did my blue. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop it. Paris. Paris. Just go shrivel and die. I... I don't know why I said it like that. An antidote. What? Why? Why would we need that now? Oh my gosh! I did not mean to take another step over. I blame Azula for this. There's just no other person to blame. It has to be her. <gasps> and we're out. Alright, let's go. Right now, there are two, these two guys. I want to learn. I think that Azula can learn both of them. Fine, which Pokemon will learn it? Never mind. I will be back for you. All right, but I know that you can learn Mega Kick, right? Or you have to be evolved to get that. Probably because like her like legs are just like super stubby, so she kind of like. She try to like lift it, but she's only able to hit like two inches. And yep, needs to be evolved. But we're not evolving you yet. Actually, maybe we should we could we? I'm gonna save state here just in case. Save state. No oh, wait, hang on. Got safe sites work really weird. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Wait, hang on, let me look at this. Oh, I got I got how this works now, okay. B G. Sorry for another cut, I didn't even know I said the uh, stopped recording. I don't know when it stopped, but if, if you if it um, well if it did cut out before I said this, I'm just, I made a save state just in case I decide to evolve her and come back for those moves because you can't learn them. And I almost ran past and picked up Roar and it was just like a, oh yeah, Roar. That's uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Don't know why that happened, that was really weird. And now we're in Cell Island City! Not Cell... See it, not Cell... It's not Celadon, it's Cerulean Dark Bend. Get this together, man. Get, get yourself together, man. Jeez. <laughs> Full health, whatever, I don't care. Shut up. No, not bag. Bulba. Right. I think we can do this on the first try, and if not, then I don't know, probably just... Actually, if we lost, how would we lose this? Her best attacks are like water attacks, and that's just like rapid spin, so it's basically impossible to lose with Bulbasaur. Well, with Ivysaur, she's named to Bulba, but it doesn't matter. Alright. Speedo when I weirdo. Oh, I, I was thinking like I'd say that before I even realized it would rhyme. I'm a mad genius. <laughs> I'm a 
also a little weird. I'm a little weirdo, but I'm not wearing a speedo. Making the same joke twice. Yeah. Hopefully that clap picked up in the mic. If not, um, I clapped. Yeah. Yeah, I clapped. I did. Just cause. I'm alone, and they didn't have anyone to high five, so I still five myself. <sighs> why, why did Shelter give over 300? It's 64. Those Team Rocket guys are giving out like 300. Is this guy just poor because he works in a gym? Yeah, fight me. Fight me at PAX, bro. One mat, one row. Yeah. That works. It's good. It's always confused me that Goldin can use pick. I mean, like, come on, it's, it's a fish. But somewhat pecks you. Like, I just think it would be like with the horn, but then, like, the horn, that doesn't make any sense because it's a stabbing with the horn, so it'd be like a horn attack, but it can peck. I'm pretty sure. 99% sure that I can peck. I mean, I guess that's more believable than Wooper being able to use Fire Punch or Mega Punch or whatever punch I can learn. Or Ghastly, which can learn all the elemental punches. Or Diglett, which can use Scratch. Or Fury Swipe. Or Cut. Yeah. It's weird. Only those trainers who have the policy about Pokemon can turn pro. I forgot to turn up the speed on the dialogue. Not dialogue, the text. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive witch with water type. I don't know. I just messed up a lot right there. Don't, don't judge me. Because I'm only human. Alright. I don't know why I paused. I just kind of like went like completely dead there in the se for a second in the brain. Alright. Okay. One hit kit. Alright, that's gonna be like five damage. Wait. It did exactly five damage. Yes! I am psychic. I'll take Sabrina's spot. As long as I can use Bulba and Zul. I mean, it, okay, if, if Blue and Gold and Silver can use a bunch of different Pokemon, then so can I, and I don't care. Alright. A star, a star me is technically just two star U's with paint on. Does that mean it's twice as powerful? Hmm. These are the real things that the Pokemon Theory guys should be theorizing about. Yeah. No one cares what's inside a Pokeball. It's just star me is two times more powerful than a star U. See. Oh, I forgot I had Swift. Even though I just saw it use Swift and. I'm confused in the rain. Oh shoot. Uh, for a second there I was thinking like, oh well, I mean in these games, the gym leaders don't have to use potions until like the third one, right? Right? No. Oh, maybe it's because uh I one shot all Brock's Pokemon because Bulba 2 OP. Because Bulbasaur's the best starter type. I mean not best starter type, that's not a thing. The best starter Pokemon and I just destroyed Misty. One on two. I just realized that Bulba's done that a lot. I mean, Blue, it took, it all, took him on one on two. And then it took on uh, Brock one on two. And then it took on Misty one on two. I mean, Bulba is just too good. This is so much better. Why is it? I'm not gonna get rid of attack. into a fire, well, I mean, like, those are, like, can handle it, whatever. Probably not a smart idea to have only grass and then a poison powder, but I mean, I'm strong enough. Yeah. Cascade badge. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more you can use cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. 
What Brock let use? I thought he let us use Cun and Misty something else. TMO3, you teach us Water Pulse. Use it on our aquatic Pokemon. I got it because I totally have a Pokemon that can use it. Let's check. I... No, not Helix. Lord Helix is not ready yet. Oh. Oh. What? No. Uh. Alright. Okay, well, um... It's, oh, it's because it's Azula's blues. You know, sometimes water, sometimes blue. You know, it makes sense. Alright, well, tell up. Now she really is the perfect offense against fire types like I was just talking about. I truly am psychic. And because this is kind of like short, I guess I'll go fight blue at the bridge. It'll be a side bridge though. I paused for a second just so then like everyone could have a second to understand that. Just like blue at the bridge, just that, yeah. I explained it for those who didn't get it, but for those who did get it, that just made a joke stupider than it already was. So, you're welcome. Oh my god. I just, I, I forgot to do that thing I said I was going to do. Yeah. Options. Options forced. Alright. Well, then let's just be on our dandy old way. This is too slow. Need to run. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Yo, Dark Bend. You're still struggling on back here? Dude, I just got I'm I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let's let me see what you caught, Dark Bend. I feel like his voice got a little more like gravelly there. That was weird. You know I thought I was gonna start off with the red ta -ta 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 -ta. So I started off with Bulba. Not the best idea. I think this actually might be a tough fight because this guy isn't that far behind mine. So, which also proves I'm not overleveled. Especially since he has four of them. Water pulse. Yes. Oh, this only has like 50 seconds left. Let's see if I can end on like a good spot to pause in 50 seconds. Come on, just. just oh, shh. How is Azula faster than Pidgeotto? Will you stop sand attacking me? It's not doing jack shiz, obviously. Jeez. Okay, it hurt. Oh my god. I'm speeding this up. Alright. If you hit yourself, you're dead. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. <sighs> Our time. For a second, I was expecting it not to kill. Hang on. It's about to use Abra. Yes. Bulba. Four, three, two, and we're back. Yeah. With a razor leaf that will definitely one shot him. If it didn't, I was going to be very disappointed. 249. Charmander. See, now, guys, secretly, I've. Not everyone knows this, but the team I chose is actually the perfect team to counter everything because of their wide <laughs> and diverse moves that allowing me to use a ground Pokemon that used water attacks. Granted, she isn't ground yet, but she <sighs> but she will eventually be. But she can also use water type attacks, making her truly the ultimate firewall. Yeah, not going to explain that one. Most people should get that. And if you don't, I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> All right, Bulba, kick this butt. Why do you even have this? I mean, like, just why? Seriously, just there's no point to it. Oh, he's a sad stuff right there, I just wasn't paying attention. Hey, guess what? I went to Pilsen Gaim to show me his rare Pokemon. Then I lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's World Famous Po- is, is, the, is all Bill's World- After all, Bill's World Famous as a Pokemaniac. I don't know why I was reading that real weird. He invented the Pokemon Sword System, too. 
Since you're using the system, you should go thank him. Well, you better get rolling. Smell you later. Or now. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry for you. No, really. You're always pot plotting behind me. Even though you just kicked my butt. Severely. So here, I'll give you a little... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. A chatty gossip like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright. This time, I really am gonna... It's gone. Smell ya. Oh, yeah. Was that like supposed to be like an irony joke where he says like a chatty gossip like you even though the main character never talks? Is that what that was? Uh, I guess we could do like one more fight before the episode ends. Just cause why the crap not? Best reason to do most things, right? If you haven't gotten tired of Azula by now, you're probably going to by the end of this episode because we're using her again. Yay! I just remembered back at the beginning of the Let's Play when I, at, well, not the be a couple episodes ago, when I said that after Brock, every gym leader would be their own episode. But then, because, like, Misty's also incredibly easy thanks to Bul Ivy, so our Bulba. There we go. That this this just went by too fast. I can almost assure that <laughs> Surge's will be an entire episode, not because he's too strong or anything, too strong, but because of his stupidly annoying <laughs> gym to get through. I bet that we could get the bridge done in this episode. It feels weird that these guys only have level 10s after going through all the time of like finding like level like 13s and those two level 16s. It's just weird. Because it feels too easy since I'm more than double their level. Maybe I am? No, I'm definitely not. If anyone says I am, they're probably lying. Or just that they just don't understand Pokemon, I bet. Yeah. I actually think I might have to do a little, a couple levels, get a couple levels off of, off screen, like get um, each up to like level 25. Probably. Cause man, I'm just like kinda struggling back here. But, she is just getting moves like no other, I mean like at level 18, Poison Sting, and then like this, was what she can learn, and then Bite, up four levels later. Especially since she's leveling up super fast. Jeez. Calm down. Even though Bite's not really gonna be of any use in this fight. Especially since I can just take it out in Water Pulse. But in Water Pulse with Water Pulse, I mean. Yeah. Defeated Bug Catcher Kale. And if I kill this well with a K. Alright, well, I'm just gonna fight this person and end the episode. I know I keep saying I'm gonna end the episode here, and then I'm gonna end the episode here, and then end the episode here, but I will end the episode after this. Along with you guys watching me save. Because that's always the best part. The best part. I don't know why I said it like that. I'll use white. Ow. Ow. That's disappointing. Whatever. Oh, well, I mean, I guess um, uh, it's gonna be useful here because I can use. What the? Oh. Oh, if you suck. I can't use Water Pulse on you either, which is your best attack right now. <laughs> no. Yeah. That was a letdown. I'm, I'm sorry. Couldn't have given me one more experience. Seriously, Oddish. Jeez. Bell Sprout. Yay. The most innovative and creative design for any Pokemon. Yay. Hmm. Alright, well, that's the end of this. She's turned awkwardly to talk to me. You're a freaking weirdo. Also, we're the same height, but your eye is way lower. If you wear a hat, does it lower your eye? Because, like, this guy's eye is, like, 
level-ish with mine, but he's also like slightly shorter. Nope, I don't want to. You know, walking. I'm like this guy should be like about the same height, but his eye is like lower. But even though he's wearing a hat, but it's like on the very top of his head. That's weird. Bye. Awkward silent. Silent. Yes, he's five hours. That's because I actually left it on for two. Over two. Whoop. 